Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. And I am back to share my favorites from 2022. This one is novelettes and short stories. I read so many novelettes and short stories this year, I felt like they deserved a video of their own. So I'm just gonna kinda go through my favorites. If you know anything about the Copile spreadsheet that G sets up, it actually comes up to a 10 point scale. From nine up, it would be a five star read or equals a five star read. So everything that I'm talking about has been a five star read for me, but it just falls under different like percentage points. So like there's like a nine, a 9.14, 9.29, 9.43, 9.50, and then a 10. This year, nothing got a perfect 10, which makes sense because I didn't rate anything 10, 10, 10, 10 all the way aboard, across the board. But these have all fallen in that range. And so I'm just kind of going through it. So with that first setting, I have three short stories or novelettes that I'd like to talk about. From the collection, The Way Spring Arrives, I have Baby I Love You. And this is about a man who is an AI software video game developer, and he's given the task to create a very realistic video game where you're taking care of a baby. And his boss basically tells him that him and his wife need to have a baby so he can get have a reference and can get the mechanics of how a baby works correct. And during this, and he doesn't tell his wife this, he manipulates her into wanting to have a baby and through this process he's realizing that baby just isn't a game it's work but he realizes this too late obviously his wife finds out and she takes the child away and then he's left with the well a video game baby is not the same as your real child i like the conversation that you're having there of how far would you do things for work and then does work actually equal real life? So next from that same collection, I have The Name of the Dragon. For some reason, all of a sudden this one blinked on me. So if I remember right, this is where they went, or no, if I remember right, this is where two people are going through the items in a house, trying to look for something that's valuable to sell from an inheritance. And they find a pot that has a dragon on it and then they're like wait this is not the dragon that the inventory says is supposed to be on here and going through how humans have been unjust to dragons and this dragon just wants to be left alone and they end up freeing the dragon i have from the fabled passages collection by margaret pernard cosmo at the crossroads and this is where you are in the mindset of a pet and the pet is watching their human interact with the world. The pet has its own ideas. And they know something is off with the human. Their human's not acting normal. And they're concerned. And I just really like the conclusion of, the, of this short story. So going to the next setting, I have four. Nope, I have five here. I have it just rain off by its, itself because I don't have a picture for it. This was one that was a nomination for 2021 where this woman her mom is really good friends with god god is wanting to get to know her better but doesn't know how to have a relationship with her so he's trying to set her up and she's just like ja enough and then the just rain enough is talking about when you ask god for something do you necessarily get what you're asking for and one of her ancestors had been like hey God, can we have rain? And then like, okay, that you've given us too much rain, stop. I have three short stories from the collection Reclaim the Stars. First one is The First Day of Us. This is a how we got together story set with a sci-fi background. And this is a pansexual coupling. There's two men and a woman in this one and they're figuring out how, that they wanna be together. So that's really the story, but I liked it placed in the space it was on the space station and they all have different jobs that they do and that they're training for they're all students and then how they get to save the day but 
what they saved the day doesn't compare to the y'all got together. And I just like that. Then there is Eternal. And this one is about a person who is eternal. They, they keep living and how they fell in love with someone who was mortal and their siblings found out and were not happy about it. And so basically tried to imprison them, or, but it wasn't working, it doesn't work. And the eternal person has to decide whether or not they're going to let the person they love go and let them live a life. Then we have Leanda, which is, I think, like a prequel short story for uh, Romina Garber's book series. It's on my want to read list, but I haven't actually read them. And it's about a society where you have werewolves and witches, and the werewolves are in power, and the witches are not. And there's a witch that is set up to be like a leader in the community, it's not really what she wants, but it's what her family wants. They want her to be in power. And she gets used by one of her classmates. But it ends up setting her on a path that I think she's going to be happier with. I then really enjoyed Matchmaker Matchmaker, and this was from the Choreo magazine earlier this summer. Th this is also a science fiction story where in order to keep like the genetic from getting messed up, you have to marry someone from another planet or colony space station and so these men are coming looking for a wife and the main character really isn't interested in getting married she's happy with the life she has and happy with you know being near her best friend and a lot of the women have already been chosen from their planet and so this is like the last chance for her to get married basically and this new husband, the only thing they care about is can the bride cook or can the bride bake? And so her, her best friend who has also been selected and a third person, they've all baked some things. And during the process of this, she realizes, no, she, she really does not want to marry this guy. Hasn't met him yet, but she realizes what she does want. Next, some longer stories from collections that you've already seen. Reclaim the Stars, I loved rogue enchantments and this is about a girl who has inherited a shop in this market and it was her grandmother's shop before but her grandmother did something else so she's now turning the shop into selling art supplies that are magical and creating portraits but somebody's been tampering with her shop her first day she comes and everything has been destroyed that was there previously and so she has to spend her day fixing up rather getting her shop set up and opened and i just like how she very much finds her place in the world and then also from the collection the way spring arrives i have new year painting ink and color on rice paper by jacquio village and this was it's another art story actually didn't mean for this to happen but this is one where a an artist curator gets a painting to fix up. So I guess there's a tradition for New Year paintings in China, or at least for this village there were, and a child made one, but instead of having the eyes in the face, it, like the eyes were in the hand, and so it leads to that there is, they, the villagers think that there's a haunting going on. But the conclusion of it is just so completely satisfying. Next, we're getting into more of the novelettes. And it, I think it makes sense that I really enjoy novelettes more than short stories because there's more information you can get. I really enjoyed The Secret Life of Bots. And then this is the first one in the Bots series by Suzanne Palmer, where you have this little itty bitty bot who is woken up by the AI to fix things. And this bot has been woken up because all the other bots are busy doing things and this one item needs to be done so this little bot is tasked with it and as the bot is trying to complete its task it, surreal, it finds out what the bigger issue at stake is of why its spaceship is going out into the universe and comes up with a plan to solve the issue 
that nobody else, bots, AI, or humans have thought of. And then here again, you see the way spring arrives. And then this time I have a brief history of Benikin disa disasters as told in a Sinetic language. And this is alien colonization story seen from the aliens. And it talks about why they had to leave their old planet, history of kind of what happened there, and basically makes it so you understand why they are taking over Earth. It's a lot of fun. And yeah, it's all, it kind of goes back to it's all in the perspective of who you're looking at, how your feelings are, who you're going to sympathize with. And then my favorite from this category is a novelette called 33% Joe. And this is about a soldier who has bionic body parts and his bionic body parts talk to one another. And they know that he's not the best soldier in the world, but they really want him to survive because they like him. And so they try to help him get a better position in life. And it's just a lot of fun how they do that, especially because it takes him a while to realize, wait, my parts are sentient. If you have read any of these, I would love to know about it down below. And if you have other short stories or novelettes that you have enjoyed this year, please also let me know down below so that I can go read more. Thank you and have a great day.